Hello, Simvicta. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, Northern Lion. Uh, people can't see anything on my screen yet because it's capturing the wrong image. It's okay. So forgive me, but yes, happy Monday. I Did know that uh, we, we have concluded that we are indeed on the correct map. It's true. I believe. And hey, man, it's February. It is February. Not yet. I mean, for us, it'll be February <laughs> tomorrow. Well, I, I don't want to spoil it, but you know. I feel like we can get away with like... <clears throat> I think the audience pretty much like knows now that like they get it. Yeah, it's not recorded the second before it goes up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like it, it's fun to like to play like it is, but come on now. I think I think that we've it, it's 2020. We can lift the veil on the GeoGuessr recording uh, process, and uh, you know I think we're all stronger because of it. Well, speaking of which, three, two, one, good luck. <laughs> good luck, have fun. Can I tell you? So I gotta move this big sack of almonds out of the way. Because uh, it's blocking my map. But I've got a lot of follow-up questions I've done. Dude, I, I bought 750 grams of almonds. That's like a <laughs> pound and a half. And there is nothing worse. I bit into the first almond, and it was like soft. Oh, I'm God. Get, they they uh. screwed me. I bought almonds in bulk without sampling. And then they're uh. all like the soft almonds that have no crispness to them whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, those are the worst because then it's like you're it's like you're eating like a crayon. Yeah, they get stuck in your teeth yeah. like crazy and Yeah, no thank you. Are you going to are you going to bring them back? That's that's the real question. Are you going to bring them back and ask Oh, for dude, I, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Was it too boomer for you or what? I would never absolutely. I will say without hesitation that it's too boomer for me. Okay. I would never okay. bring back a food to the grocery store. I'm actually with you on this. It, it would the only this is the only exception to that rule. It would be if it was just egregiously like rotten. Like I've, I, yes, I, I, I have in my lifetime. I've only I've only returned one thing back to the grocery store ever, and it was because I had a grossly out of date uh, package of the deli meat, like the ham. Yeah, and it looked fine, but then like I it, this this is what led me to to always check the dates before I leave the the aisle. Uh, it was actually out of date by like four months. Oh, oh four I, months! Four months. That's I don't know crazy. how. Crazy. I don't know how that. Uh, I don't know what's going on in my camera. I, dude, I'm I'm being teleported mid teleport right now. <laughs> everything everything has like gray and white like teleportation lines. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, so I don't I don't know how that happened. But I took I took it back and like I was like, hey, uh, I need to return this. I said, all right, let me get the manager. And I showed her. I was like. This is an unopened uh, package of Oscar Mayer uh, ham, and it's uh, four months out of date. And she looked at it, she's like, that came from here? I was like, yeah, I, can, I have the receipt. I literally just bought it yesterday. They were hor they were mortified and horrified. What do you, where do you, do you just line up as if you're going to buy something, but then give them the, tell them the story when you get up there? Well, they have a, there's a customer, in, in our grocery store, there's a customer service uh, desk that like you go up to if like if, if it's super busy and the cashiers like can't get to you okay they've got like a little line it's it's in the same it's the same line where like there's like the in the in-store bank and stuff okay i mean that's like and their manager is there yeah i i understand i guess we we have not an in-store bank um but we have like a, a lottery ticket kiosk that i think maybe serves the same uh protocol okay as far as I know, yeah, a, a kiosk is probably a better is probably a better way to do it. But they have it's like it's integrated. It's also the place where you can get like your car inspection paid and and all that kind of stuff. You guys don't have that up there. Uh, so I'm not gonna say that we don't, <clears throat> but in okay. Vancouver is definitely it would be a rarity. I would say outside okay. of the city, like in my in my hometown, yeah, there's grocery stores where you can, uh, you know, they have like a. a 24-hour pharmacy and, uh, you know, uh, one-hour photo place and the maybe, like, especially, you know what's weird? Uh, Asian grocery stores very frequently have, like, a travel agency inside of them here. Really? It's like it's a, you know, I guess if you uh, speak Korean but don't speak English, you're like, hey, this is, like, the cultural center of, like, my shopping life. So you can get everything there. It's like an all-purpose desk. It's got everything. Lawyer, real estate, insurance, 
travel, etc. Et I think that means this. Kind of, okay, thank God. Wow, you actually you beat me by uh, 56. I found a gas station. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't. I was in. I was in UAE until like I saw. I I took a second look at the flag and saw the white dot in the middle. And I was like, oh, "That's yeah. I'm getting bamboozled again, Jordan. <laughs> Not doing this to me." Shout out to Jordan though for having uh, English science. Well, not only that, but like <laughs> nat national pride. There's flags. Yeah, everywhere. very true. Now, if only I could figure out uh, which one of the green, black, and red flags. <laughs> is which country without having to see a sign that has the nation's <laughs> capital on it. It would be a dream come true. But yeah, yeah I've, seen, out... I've seen those big grocery stores. But I, mostly, okay. to be honest, is when we like go down to our in-laws' place near Seattle, and then we'll stop by like a, like a Fred Meyer or something like that. And I am just in awe at the size of the store. Always. A Fred Meyer? Fred, you don't have Fred Meyer in Texas, maybe? I don't know. We do, we do not. If we do, it is unbeknownst to me. I'm trying to think of the other... <clears throat> I don't know. Every every region's got its own grocery stores. Fred Meyer might be a like a Northwest sort of thing. It's just a Walmart, basically. Yeah, I, it's a Canadian Walmart. Well, uh, Seattle. Well, Washington Walmart. Is it? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this language over here? I saw a language. Was it on the side of a building? It was on a gate preceding a building. It was on a gate? It was on a gate. No, oh, look at the puppy. <laughs> but the language uh, did not surprise me. That's what I'll say about that. Really? Yes. Hmm. Because I'll I'll level with you. At the first the first like inclination was that okay we got to be somewhere in far eastern Europe. Mm, okay, yeah. Just that was just from like I think I'm actually going backwards. Uh, that was that was from just like seeing just the the surroundings and looking at a clothesline and a couple of buildings that were. Let's just say they looked used <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> a used building. <laughs> I was thinking about that because, you know, we moved out of our, uh, the the apartment we used to rent, obviously, like three months ago. Right. Sometimes I, in my in my travels, I still find myself going by uh, the building. And I think to myself, like, it's occupied by somebody else, but I had it first. It's like, you're, you're getting my, <laughs> you're getting my sloppy seconds <laughs> on tenancy. <laughs> I don't take pride in it necessarily, but I think like, ah, uh, you know, if I had yeah, to choose, yeah, yeah. if I had to choose between uh, living in it, you know, first or living in it second, I definitely would choose to live in it uh, first. I am looking forward to the housing process this year. Mm. I, don't, I, I don't like. I don't know why people. Fine. I don't know why people are. I mean, okay, I understand why they would they would tell me this like, oh, it's a nightmare, it's a pain, it's like. You know, it's oh, it's it's just not fun or whatever. But like, I've had the preliminary stuff that I did for like how for like looking for houses and stuff, and like yeah. I'm excited about like about like planning out like what kind of house I want is like fun. I think that is a fun part. I will agree with you. I I'm just picking a guess. I'm not guessing yet, but I, I'm just gotta put something down. I haven't seen anything yet, though. Dude, I don't I don't freaking know. For me, there there were two big drags. One drag was uh, moving, which just always kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. But to be honest, we probably own... I mean, we were moving from like a 600-square-foot apartment. We probably own more than the average person who had a 600-square-foot apartment did. <laughs> it, it was a surprising move for the relative smallness of where we used to live. Is that before or after you got rid of the Northern Lion mailbox? Yeah. <laughs> well, we still have that, but... <laughs> wow, I was way off. You got... Well, I mean, <clears throat> relatively way off. You got me by 1900. Okay. And, you were in, like, Argentina, maybe? Or Mexico? I, w I, was, I was on the corner of Chile, Argentina, and Bolivia. Oh, okay. But, like, towards the bottom there, because I was trying to board a Chile. I, I had no idea where we were. Oh, you, me neither, basically. I was just like, I... If I had to pick, is this north or south? And I was like, I don't know. Feels north, I guess. Yeah. 
I guess I guess I should have taken cues from the all the jungle and stuff, but it's so hard. Like, oh, I mean, there was just Spanish just, and just, yeah, foliage. Just Spanish. <laughs> and, yeah. and then, uh, like, so the other drag was just like, and maybe other people have different tolerances for this, but the amount of people who get a slice, like when you when you purchase a property, yes, um, is I mean, I was getting bled dry. By, by professions that I didn't even know existed, honestly. <laughs> so, like, yeah, you, like you know, I you go to the bank, and the bank is whatever. Then, you know, you, you get all that paperwork sorted out. Then you've got to go to a notary. And I didn't know that... Okay. I mean, I know what a notary is, but I did not, prior to this, really understand what they did. I guess they're kind of a... Um, basically, like, a, a real human being captcha. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no, no, I, I got you on that. Like, their whole um, job is just to identify that you are who you say you are. And, uh, you know, like, look at documents and then sign a series of pages. And then the notary got paid. And I was like, man, you didn't do anything. Like, no disrespect. <laughs> I, I respect the hustle. But literally, like, I, you're so lucky that your job is required by the government because you did zero in this process absolutely nothing well okay they did they did the paperwork to like you know transfer the title or something like that which is fair right. enough. but well i found out i i, I don't remember if, I, if we've if we mentioned that on uh on uh, the geogazer series but i found out that the underwriter exists oh the insurance underwriter uh no the well in 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 texas the underwriter for me is more tied to the to the lender Oh, okay. So, I mean, they're basically the, assessing the loan. your risk of uh, your risk factor yeah. on the mortgage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think we're over here? You know where we're not? Uh, England, Ooh. as of twelve hours ago. But dum bum. I saw the EU flag. <laughs> Hindsight shouldn't have told you, you that. It might have given you some information. But dum bum. No, I was. I think I'm in. I think I'm in more of a of a better a better spot. I, I'm not sure if I have the actual country, but I think I'm in a more accurate spot of the continent. That's a big horse. Have you seen this horse carrying like a? It's like a couple on like a hollowed out canoe with four wheels. Don't try to distract me. I'm, Satan, I'm just saying. I'm working. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> it's the classic font where I'm like, "What country are you? I don't know." <laughs> The font. You know what I mean. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> but no, I found out that uh, I found out that the underwriter has more power than anyone else in the uh, in the whole process. I was originally going to look for a house uh, last year, and I was told that I need to maintain a certain level of income for an entire year before mm. I'm allowed to. But not allowed. I mean, I can, you can apply for a loan whenever, but. Um, before, like, they, they were like, you could get a much better rate if you just work for another year and just save up money. Oh, that's good. So I was like, all right, so I'm going to work hard for another year to make the whole housing process easier on myself for the rest of my life. Was this sort of thing, uh, this know? was from the bank? No, this is from the lender. Oh, okay. Because I was going to, like, go, we, that sounds foreign to me, but I think that it's because a bank just has, like, a set rate. Yeah, I, I didn't, I couldn't, anyway. I never applied for the loan because I had to, the, it, w it was. Is that a oh, that's a flag. Oh god, five seconds left. Ah, I, I'm, I don't know. I probably should have gone over there. Uh, you got me by a little bit. 127. It was just honestly I staggering <laughs> luck on my part. I didn't. I had. I saw a flag with within five seconds, and I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't move fast enough to go see around it. But I was already on the border of Lithuania and Latvia, and uh, I, I knew it wasn't Belarus because there wasn't any Russian. But the the line. It's like you see those straight lines over the characters like that. Yeah, and it throws you for a loop because there's like three different countries that do that, and they're all next to each other. I'll tell you, one hundred percent of the time, I always put us in. Hungary and Bulgaria, mm -hmm. and then work it back from that point onwards. <laughs> well, you said you got lucky. What did you see? I, I saw the text only, and okay. then went every time I think this is Hungary, 
it's always actually one of these countries. And then I just kind of stuck us in Latvia, Lithuania. Gotcha. But I guess like, you know, it's less of a guess and more of knowledge. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's like... It's, it's not, not geo-knowledge, nor Well, that's lie. true. I was, I was like, I don't know it. But I guess if you search your brain and then, uh, you know, you're like, hey, the evidence that I have supports this claim then that is what knowing is, isn't it? I, I'm not messing with you, but this corner house looks like a house that you would build in The Sims 4, <laughs> and you didn't know how the roofing tool worked. Because mm. yeah. there's triangles everywhere. You know what it looks like? <laughs> it looks like a house where uh, you would not want to have a flat roof because snow would... Uh, accumulate on it and collapse no no I, I i understand the the architectural integrity and structure of the design except this design goes it takes that to an extreme brother it's i'm talking <laughs> there's corners everywhere so do you know what, what country we're in here i do not okay. yet i've seen i see red buildings i see so you're drawing an inference yeah i understand I will say, no, no matter which of these countries it is, I don't believe I've ever seen like this kind of suburb neighborhood in them before. You're betting it's probably Finland. I I could be betting on any number of situations. Because the, all the all the names that I've seen. <clears throat> They want me. They want me to believe that it's uh, it's either Norway or Sweden. Mm. I guess. It, I guess it could technically be uh, one of the three. <laughs> I also can't get out. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, I've been... <laughs> I, I've I've been driving around in circles for like the last minute and a half. I bet we are like around. Dude, I'm stuck. I'm going over here. I bet we're around here. That's that's my dang guess right there. Yo, that's a sick car. I, I cannot conceivably give you directions. But hold on, let me see if I can get back to it. Look at that. It's like a 1950s. I have no idea what car that is. But the, the thing is the red buildings, though, are, it's, it's bothering me because red buildings always signify Sweden. I offer no information nor misinformation. Well, I mean, you've got like a 3,000 point lead right now. I probably, yes, but who knows what number five is going to be, you know? That is true. All I'm going to say, I'm, I'm not going to steer you right or wrong, out of respect. But we know that we're in Scandinavia. I, on the advisement of my attorney, I plead the Fifth Amendment. This freaking guy. He doesn't think they were in Scandinavia. Under the advisement of my attorney, I've been compelled to plead the Fifth Amendment. You know what? I'm going to say over here then. Thank God I moved, but you still got <laughs> me by two, you still got me by two thousand. I was I was dialed into Finland the entire time until you answered the way that that was. I was like, what? you know I mean, what? what? How could I have answered it that wouldn't have you know you what? in that this direction? guy, because whenever we're in Scandinavia, we're always honest with each other. I, I've never adhered to that rule. Wow, you got almost 5,000. I yeah. guess it was just right. It was, that was Reykjavik? I mean, it I, it was just outside of Reykjavik. Because, like, I was looking, I saw a car that said, like, Reykjavik. And I was like, probably not too many oh. businesses off the island that are, like... <laughs> <laughs> the the Reykjavik cafe or something. So then I started looking around and I saw population density, but no buildings over like two stories. And I was like, we got to be, we got to be close to the capital then. Oh, I was, I thought I'm sitting here trying to like zoom in on this white sign. It keeps dodging my camera and only turned out. It's like, oh, this is the church. <laughs> well, what's your score? Fifteen three three three. Oh, you're not behind by that much. You're you're only behind by twenty three hundred now. But it's well, yeah. I mean, it's, I'm very it's not glad out of, it didn't it's give. Out of reach. 
Yeah, I'm glad I didn't give up any information necessarily on the on the Iceland guess. What in the world am I looking at here? Yeah, I'm not getting too much yet. I've seen something that <clears throat> sort of threw me off. Because I was expecting somewhere over here. Mm. But it's not South America. I'm not pointing to South America. It's not North America, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. With today's political climate, you <laughs> some people may feel that way. Uh... <laughs> I've never been to Mexico, okay? Or in Central America, which I guess is North America. This doesn't look like any part of Canada or the U.S. I've ever seen. What is this guy? You know what? I don't even, I don't even want to know what that guy's doing. This is a... This is an odd one. Yes. I, I would be intending to agree with you on that a one. Very odd one. As in, we may have never been to this country. And if we have, it, this is a part that we've never seen before. That seems appropriate. I wouldn't disagree with you. I'm relying on my 90-day fiancé skills now. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm like, Christ. does this look like where Michael lives? Just <laughs> why you why you use your same logic that you guys played what Clue the other day on the NLSS? <laughs> he looks like <laughs> oh you when we played Guess Who oh Guess Who that's what it was yeah that's South America I zoomed in on the wrong continent I'm gonna go out on a limb. I kind of think we're like there, but. Man. Do you know where we are? No, I do not. So I'm, I'm taking like a coward's guess. I got 30 seconds left. What do you mean a coward's guess? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Well, what where guess... Could you, where could you have guessed? What guess would a non-coward make? Man, I'm probably way off on this. Were we over there? We were almost next to each other. Oh, really? <laughs> that was South Africa? Yeah, I'm surprised as well. I thought that we... Uh, I, I, you, what I'm, sent me to Nigeria was I saw what, to me, seemed like a lot of religious iconography. And I was yeah, like, I remember... That's what I saw. When, that one time we were in Nigeria, every road was like Jesus Road, Christ Alley, yep. like... But, yeah, it's Lizotho. Oh. Well, I mean, when we were in, um, uh, what was it? We, not Benin. We were, we were somewhere up there where, where there was, like, a lot of religious stuff. It, it may have been Senegal, uh, one of those guesses. But I, at the very beginning, I saw Chinese. Or it was oh, really? Chinese or Japanese. I was like, I was like, what? But it was on the, it was on a van. Mm. And I guess technically that wasn't, is, is Lizotho... Is that considered part of South Africa, like the country itself, or no, is it I just? I think it's a. I think it's its own. It's its own sovereign nation. Because that would explain why we didn't see the usual South African road signs. True. Yeah. Very true. Wow. Well, yeah. That, I think that's the first for us to ever get that. Uh, get that country. Good run. You it was as well. a mediocre showing. I mean, honestly, from, it uh, was. It was pretty much just. Ecuador and Iceland that that got me there today. Yeah, yeah, because the Jordanian guess was uh, was pretty much even. Let me look at the full results here. 
Where did you make your the biggest leap that you had? Probably the second guess. Oh, when the Iceland one. I thought you said I got you by 2,000. And I was like, I don't even think that's possible. No. <laughs> Unless you no, picked, no, no. like, the Atlantic Ocean or something. No, you, no, it was 2,000 on the South American uh, guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, that it was uh, it. it was 1,900 on the second guess. And then, yeah, and then you got you got chip points all the way up. Yeah. But, it, hey, it's, today was a tough round. It was. Uh, we wish you the best of luck if you played along with us. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. These come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We'll see you on Wednesday. See you later.